Madre de Dios! This little boy covered in blood was found walking outside his house. Neighbors called the police, who found his father and sister stabbed at home, with the boy dying in the hospital. Charlie didn't make it. The cops head to the mom's workplace to inform her and she cries and weeps about who would do this to her family. Nanny didn't show up for work. Found a bloody knife and clothes hidden in her empty house. Later, she was discovered hiding at her brother's apartment. Claimed she found the family that way and grabbed the knife in fear. Police suspect a love affair turned deadly, leading her to kill the husband and children. One cop believes her story and after they find an angry voicemail left by the husband's best friend. Angry that he had cancelled the trip to Paris because his wife had said they couldn't financially afford it. The cops find out she had lied about her finances, she had a shell company under her husband's name, leading them to search her office and finding bloody shoes. She confesses to killing her family after being confronted with evidence by the police. She confides in a psychiatrist who labels her a family annihilator, driven by fear over embezzlement charges. Justifying her actions with a skewed view, she relates her children to a dying cockroach story, thinking she was protecting them by ending their lives. My children, I had to save them before they dropped onto the burning grill. The defense claimed insanity for the murders. Not guilty of killing her kids, but guilty of killing her husband, she later took her own life in prison. Anna Mill just hung herself in her cell. 